Hey guys, it's Britta back with another Monday review. I feel like as of late, I've only been re reviewing like cream bronzers, sunscreens, and eyeshadow palettes, but those are three things I'm passionate about, specifically sunscreens. I love trying new SPFs. Um, if you're new to our channel, Carly and I usually, almost always, almost, we always use mineral sunscreens. Um, we just find that they're better for sensitive skin and me personally, I just feel like they perform a little better in terms of sun protection and I really want to mitigate, you know, any more sun damage, um, fine lines and wrinkles. Like I just wanna <laughs> hold that off for as long as possible and I feel like mineral sunscreens are just what I prefer. So usually on our channel, that's what we review. And Pharmacy was kind enough to send us the reformulated Green Defense Daily Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, and I have a lot of thoughts on this, so let's get into the review. Okay, so first I'll pull it up on Sephora and read a little bit about the claims. So this is, the price is $36 for 1.7 ounces, so it's definitely one of my more expensive sunscreens, um, but I do think it's really great, so I'll get into the review, but they say it's a fast absorbing, lightweight, broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral sunscreen that is reef safe and free of silicones and fragrance. So first of all, I think, well SPF 30, you know, that's a good um, number to hit. I feel like anything lower than that, I usually wouldn't use. I like at least a 30, so 30 is totally fine. I do think it is lightweight and fast absorbing. The claims are true. I will insert a clip of me applying this. You can see I put three fingers on, which usually with a mineral sunscreen with three fingers, which is the recommended amount, you're going to see a white cast. And you can definitely tell as I'm blending this in, there is like a pretty significant purplish blue white cast like hue to my skin, but it does settle into the skin very very quickly and it feels extremely lightweight on the skin even applying that much product you can see on my fingers this is not a fluid formula it's very like thick and lotion like but as you blend it in it just absorbs into your skin like a typical like face lotion would which i feel like is so unique because usually mineral sunscreens like the Cetaphil one that I love and use all the time, that one, it does leave still a little bit of a white cast. It, you know, it, it dissipates, but there's still a little bit of a whiteness on my skin um, that I can, can, you know, layer under makeup. But this one, I feel like the white cast does kind of pretty much completely go away, at least on my skin tone. Um, obviously, deeper skin tones, I can't attest to that but I think it pretty much goes away. It sinks into the skin and it feels very, very moisturizing. I almost feel like someone with more oily skin or like normal to oily could get away with using this as like a moisturizer because it just has that like nice moisturizer, moisturizing, lotion-y feel, but fast absorbing, which is so lovely. I just find the texture to be really nice. And I don't know if you can tell in the clip, I will say when this comes out of the tube it does look a little bit chunky which you know isn't like you're like oh this isn't a very like luxe formula and I think that's because there's no silicones in here silicones in my opinion do add that like luxe like cushion and softness to a formula so I feel like that could be a little off-putting for people and that would make me think like oh this is not going to blend well on my face but this is probably like the most easy to blend mineral sunscreen I've ever used I just feel like it blends so effortlessly into the skin where usually you experience like that tug from um obviously the zinc which is that <laughs> a very like thick white mineral so I feel like most of them just really have a lot of tugging where this does not have any. And then I'm just quickly going to go over the highlighted ingredients. So they have non-nano zinc oxide at 18.23%, um, absorbs UVB rays and reflects UVA rays without leaving a white cast. Moringa water and seed extract to remove impurities left by pollution, visibly purifying and refreshing skin. And then winter cherry and beta carotene protect against blue light and may cause oxidative damage, to, which may cause oxidative damage to skin. So, um, but you know, those are the call outs, but obviously the main one being protecting against UVA and UVB rays. And one other thing I want to mention, because I feel like with these lotion-y type sunscreens, I feel like a lot of times they can pill if you don't use them properly. So I just want to give a tip that when I use this, 
I definitely let my moisturizer dry completely on my skin before going in with this. Usually I'll put my moisturizer on and let it sink in for maybe even like 30 minutes before I go in with my SPF. Of course, if timing allows. If I'm like running out the door and I need to get SPF on my skin, I'll layer them um, on top of each other. But I find that if you let your moisturizer sink into your skin and go in on like a dry base, this doesn't pill on me at all. Even all that I applied, like you can see the three fingers is a lot of product. And even applying that much, it doesn't pill and it just dries down to very like a smooth finish, which just gives like a very natural look to the skin. It's not greasy at all. Like it actually does absorb quickly, like the marketing says, um, which I love because it layers really, really beautifully under makeup today. I'm wearing it under my foundation. And if you watched our get ready that we did um, last week, I think when this video goes up, you'll see that when I started doing my makeup, like you can't even tell that I'm wearing sunscreen because there's no white cast, there's no like weird shine. It just sinks in so beautifully. But I will give that tip. If you apply this on top of moisturizer like right away, I noticed that it does pill more. So just keep that in mind if you wanna mitigate the pilling. So overall, my thoughts on this are that I love it. I think that it's such a fantastic mineral sunscreen. I think it performs really, really beautifully. I, Like I said, I'm shocked at how easy it blends into the skin. And I think that this would work for the majority of skin types because like I said, it dries down to a very like natural finish. It's not greasy at all. So I think that even if you had um, oily skin, you would like this. And I think if you had dry skin, it would be like moisturizing enough for you for sure. So I would recommend this for all skin types. Yes, the price is a little bit steep, but if you haven't been able to find a mineral sunscreen that doesn't have like a crazy white cast, try this one because I think you would really like it. Or if you are looking for a silicone free mineral sunscreen, definitely get this one because I think it's the best one that I've tried. Um, so I just, I had to recommend it. I wanted to do this review. I wasn't going to review it because I feel like I review so many sunscreens, but I just feel so passionately about it that I thought that I would pop on here and do this video. So let me know if you tried this down below. And I'm curious if there are other silicone free mineral sunscreens that you guys try and love, leave them down below as well because, um, like I said, it's not super important to me that something's silicone free, but I always like to recommend them if that's what you guys are looking for. My, me personally, I've tried the My Shell Sun Shield, which I love that product, but it's more of like a tinted serum, which is why it's silicone free. It, it's not like silicones are needed for that product. And that one is a bit difficult to blend. This one's much easier. And then I believe the Pipette Mineral Sunscreen is also silicone free, but that one, in my opinion, leaves much more of a white cast than this one does. So this one is just kind of the best of all worlds. Um, so yeah, let me know if you've tried it.